Yeah, I don't know what the hell's wrong with this phone. This is ridiculous. Y'all put that stuff in my head and lay my hand down. I thought this was a part of my head. I'm like, didn't I just brush this shit? But it's a part of the mask. Ooh, I got another mask from Whole Foods when I went there today. They got the one that you put over your head. And it goes in the back of your head. And then you tie this one strap around the back of your head. I'm like, damn, that's just too fucking much. No, I'm not doing all that extra. That's gonna fuck up like that's gonna fuck up my hair. No, I'm sorry, sweetie. No, it's not about to work. I'll stick with this one and the one I got today. They look like this, except it's just navy blue and dark gray on the inside. Oh, ooh, excuse me. Now, if I had some kind of like fabric glue, I'll glue that on here. But I'm not finna sew it. Cause I'm thinking about putting my Dallas Cowboy store on him. So I'm like, nah, hold on y'all. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I'm just sitting up here and drawing with little suns out because like I said in the previous video, around by my house ain't no goddamn sun out. So I'm just sitting here. Trying to suck up some of his rain. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I seen that because uh, I was looking at my phone yesterday and I seen uh, it was like a burgundy maroon, whatever you want to call it. Burgundy Chevy 2000, what, 14, 15, 16? One of them Chevy Malibu. And when I went to Whole Foods, I'm like, what? Because that was a car I actually seen that at first. I'm like, so they must work there. So I seen it again today. Parked in the same spot it was last time. The day before. I'm like, mm. I need me. I need that car. I want I swear I do need another car, but I want that car. If I am ever able to have enough money to get that car, trust me. I will get that car. I don't want it to take five, six, seven, eight years for me to have the money to get that car. But, oh, uh, excuse me. Why when I go my eyes get water? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, ooh. And then, too, my thing is, if I get that car, I'm going to have to, because I don't want to have to park my goddamn car somewhere else and leave it and then have to go home, catch the bus and go home. I want to be able to have my goddamn car parked at the house like everybody else does, because it don't make no sense. All the bus fare I'm using to have to get to my car, every time I go to my car, to get to, you have to catch the bus and get to the car, then go take the car back, get off, get out the car, go to the bus stop, catch the bus back. Excuse me. But yeah, that's just too much goddamn money. That could be gas money. And then not to mention, yeah, I have to spend bus fare and gas money. No, that's too much fucking money. Just because I can't park my car over here. Like I said, if I get that car before, like anytime soon, when I get that car, I'm going to, um, because I don't want to have to pay notes, but I do need another car. I want to take, and I mean, if I could find that car with no accidents and nothing messed up on it for the price that I want, I'll gladly take it. But yeah, I'm like, that's what I was saying. So I switched off it to but now. If I get that car, or whenever I get that car, and I'm still, if I'm still living here, I'm not paying y'all no however much for a parking stepping. And then they say, yo, we, we not giving out any more parking stuff, bitch, I don't know. Y'all gonna give me a goddamn parking spot. I live here. You didn't turn the other one in. Do you know how long ago, how long it's been since I had that goddamn car? That first car, my first Chevy Malibu. Like I said, I was in a car accident in that. When you're in a car accident, you don't think about peeling shit off the car window. You thinking about trying to save your life and whoever's life is in that car, if anybody else in that car. See, what I was thinking about is just getting out of the car because all I saw was smoke. I'm like, 
So you want me to sit in this goddamn cold while it's burning? If it was burning, which it wasn't, I, at the time I didn't know where the smoke was coming from. You expect me to just sit in this car while I smoke in this car? And then usually where there's smoke, there's a fire finna come, or done already happened, or something like that. But you want me to sit my ass in this goddamn car and wait? Just sit my ass in this car and peel the stuff out? Oh my hell, no, I'm not finna do that. Fuck that. And then burn up in a goddamn car while I'm trying to get the stuff out? No, like, yeah, these people in this goddamn office lost their goddamn hand. That goes to show you they don't care about nobody but themselves, let alone have sympathy for anybody. And then they don't like certain type of people, like I've been saying, I'm going to continue to say. But yeah, like I was saying, I might have to pay for me a parking sticker or go apply at another apartment somewhere while I got my car. Or take my information and I'm just going to have to go get me an extended stay hotel or something. Because I'm already, one, tired of living here. Two, hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm already tired of living here. I'm already sick of everything. At least with the extended stay hotel. Don't give you no goddamn stuff. You don't have to worry about all that extra shit. Just get the key to the room you're going to be in. Park your car there. And you pay your rent. For what you say. So, yeah. And let's just hope they ain't changed their rules or whatnot. But like I said, if I pay three something for the hell, yeah, yeah. I just have to give me another job or hand me another source of income. And then that's it, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, excuse me. But yeah, I'm like. I got to do something because I'm not going to be doing this shit. Not for very much longer. Not too much longer. I have to keep catching the goddamn bus. Just to get to my car. Go use it. It's like I'm borrowing somebody's car. When I need to go to the catch the bus. Get to the car. Use the car. And I have to take it back. And get back on the bus. Just to come home. Y'all know how stupid that feels. How stupid that look. And how stupid that really is. Because if so, you're going to have to pay a hundred and something dollars for a fucking parking sticker. Maybe 50 at the very least. I'm not going to pay no... I don't want to have to. I'm not going to say I'm not about to. Because I just might have to. But then, what goes with that, if you do get a parking sticker, you got to keep coming outside looking for your car to make sure your shit's still out there. Because they sneaky. They'll give you a parking sticker that you think that shit updated. Up to date and everything. And like she says, she cause she the one that calls the tow trucks. You might think you got think you got everything situated with your car. Come back your come outside in an hour the next day. Come back to get in your car and go your car gone. The fuck? Come and find out she didn't tow your goddamn car. Tow had had them tow your car, and you thought wasn't nothing wrong with it, but she didn't give you an outdated sticker or sticker with missing information. They do shit like that. They normally do stupid sneaky ass shit. No, not me. I got insurance, and I got everything on my damn car. Should be able to park my car here. And then besides, nothing in my car works as it is anyway, as far as the like overhead lights and a charging and stuff. But yeah, like I say, I'm gonna have to uh, do something. Cause like I'm, not, I don't want to have to have a new car. And have to go through the same goddamn situation I'm going through now with my car now. No. I'm not doing that. Fuck that. I am not doing it. Catching a bus and all this shit. When you got a goddamn car, you should be able to come and go as you please. And then catching the bus, you have to be back at the house at a certain time. When you got a car. Fuck? No, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. I, I'll just go find me a goddamn extended stay hotel somewhere that I can pay for. Getting the car when I get ready to go to work, just go in the good time I get damn ready. 
and we're gonna be able to come and go as I please. Cause it makes no sense living somewhere you can't have your car. So my thing is, that's the best bet for me. Is to go find me somewhere else. Especially, I should be already somewhere else when I have my car. Period. Before I even have my new car. Either if it's on charge or whatnot. But yeah. I just had to come out here and just enjoy some of this. So while it's that. Ooh, excuse me. How they said it was supposed to rain today. Scattered rain. But yeah. I don't know. I'm glad it didn't while I was gone. But like I said, if I got to get a fucking broom hate shit. I do what the fuck I gotta do, cause this shit here. If I gotta get a roommate, I'm gonna have to make sure it's the person that pay their goddamn bills. And if you gonna have anybody or at least pay their portion of the bills, I'm not gonna be paying the whole goddamn thing. We going half. That's what the fuck we gonna do. We going half on everything. Everything gets split right down the goddamn middle. And like I say. I don't want to have to get like that, but if I got to do what I got to do just to keep my car parked where I live, then, yeah. And the roommate going to have their own goddamn vehicle. Because I'm not going to be able to take me wanting to have to take you everywhere, every day. I'm going to say fuck that. I'm going to try to apply for all bills paid. Wow. Well, as soon as I start working, I'm going straight over there to apply for all bills paid. I know these one apartments that I know they all bills paid. But yeah, I'm gonna end this right here. It's going too long to we'll do part two.